What's up YouTube, this is DX How To again, and this is the third part of my How To Soft Mod Your 4.3 Wii video. And to move on to step 5, we're going to be installing Preloader and setting up some hacks that go along with it. So with your SD card plugged in, start up the homebrew channel again, and load up Multimod Manager. When Multimod Manager loads up, press A to select Application Launcher and scroll down to Preloader. You'll get this warning, just press plus or A to continue. After Preloader installs, you might get a freeze or an error. This is completely normal and my Wii froze. So what you need to do is unplug your Wii and plug it back in. And when you try to start it back up, hold down the reset button and then press the power button. That will load up Preloader. And in Preloader it'll look like this white screen. Go down to System Menu Hacks with the GameCube controller. I'm not sure if you can use a Wii controller, but if not, try the Wii controller. And the hacks you need to enable are block disk updates, block online updates, and enable banner bomb. You can also do some other ones if you like. I like the auto enable, press A at health screen. It's annoying pressing A at the start. So I think that's a really cool hack. After you're done choosing all the hacks you want, we're ready to move on to the sixth and final step. And for this step, we're going to be downloading some files, so take your SD card out of your Wii and plug it back into your computer. And now you need to clear the SD card so you can either reformat it or just delete all the files off it. I just deleted all the files off it, but you can also format it if you would like. So with your internet browser open, look in the video description and you'll find a link to the final file pack by DXHow2. Download these files. It's in a zip file. You don't need WinRAR, but that's what I'm using. And if you're lucky, you might get an ad like I did. And now we need to extract the files to your SD card. You can extract them right to the SD card. You don't need to save them anywhere first. And once you're done with this, you're officially done with the soft mod process. You can plug your SD card back into your Wii when this is done and try out some of the applications for homebrew I put on there. There's a couple of cool games and some other useful stuff. And check out all my other videos for backup launchers and other homebrew channel stuff, other Wii stuff in general. I know I have a video on how to get themes and a lot of other cool stuff you can do with Wii. Just search on my uploads and you'll find a bunch of videos. And you can subscribe for all my new videos to come on the Wii. And if you need any help, feel free to send me a message. I'll be happy to help you guys. All I ask is that you be a subscriber of mine and that you've read the video description first because that might answer a lot of your questions. But that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Have fun with these hacks and there will be more videos to come.